Welcome to 3.10's Math Moment. Today's students learn about dividing fractions as well. One of the biggest things we talked about today in fifth grade math is the saying, keep, change, flip, or KCF. That's the process that the students are going to use to divide fractions. So looking at example one, we're going to do this process, keep, change, flip. So what I tell my students is to say, keep, change, and then flip. So they say it one time, and the second time they actually do the operations they need to do. So keep, we're going to change division to multiplication, and I need to flip. Flip just means the reciprocal, or taking the denominator and putting the numerator, and the numerator into the denominator. So this becomes 5 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the thing that I kept, which is my 5 sevenths. Now I just need to multiply. I have 5 times 5 is 25. My denominator is 7 times 2, which is 14. Now you see that I have an improper fraction, so I have to go ahead and divide. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my 25 divided by my 14. I know 14 can go into 25 one time. 1 times 14 is 14. When I subtract, I have 5 minus 4 is 1. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's going to be my remainder, which is going to go to the top part of my fraction, which is my numerator. My divisor is my denominator. So I've got 1 and 11 fourteenths. Example 2 doesn't even look like we have fractions to work with, but we know in fifth grade that you can make 3 divided by 4 fractions by putting it over 1. So I'm going to write 3 over 1, 4 over 1. That's the very first step you should tell your fifth graders to do because then they are fractions so we can go ahead and divide. Now we're going to do keep, change, flip again. So I'm going to keep, change, flip. I'm going to keep, so I'm going to write 3 over 1, change my division to multiplication, and now I'm going to flip or do the reciprocal, which is 1 fourth. When I multiply this across, I have 3 times 1 is 3, and 4 times 1 is 4. This is as simple as it can go because it's 3 fourths, so that is the finish of the problem. If you have any questions about 3.10 defining fractions, see your math teacher.